In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to take an extra long screenshot on Android that makes it look like your phone screen is really tall so that you can fit more into it. If you're not already familiar with how to take normal screenshots on your phone, Timmy would recommend you watch Timmy's other video on how to do that first. But this video is about taking long screenshots. On a lot of modern phones, there's actually a built-in feature that makes this really easy to do. On a Google Pixel, for example, you just take a regular screenshot first by pressing the power and volume down button at the same time. And then in this menu that appears, tap these arrows here. And now it will basically take a very long screenshot, as you can see here, and you can choose how much of it you want to capture. So this would be a normal length screenshot here, what's inside this box. But we can now drag this down here to include way more of the page or whatever we're taking a screenshot of. So if you're happy with that and that's what you want your screenshot to be, you would then tap save here. And now you've captured one very long screenshot of that page that you can now view wherever you would view your screenshot. And very similarly on a Samsung phone, it looks a little bit different, but you once again, mm -hmm. just take a regular screenshot with the volume down and power button. Then you tap this down arrow here and it'll scroll down a bit and capture some more. And then you tap it again and it scrolls down and captures more and more. So it's a bit different to the pixel, but you just keep tapping until you've captured everything you want. And then once you're happy with it, you'll just wait for a second and don't touch anything. And then it will finish and capture the full length of screenshot that you selected. So now you have this screenshot taken from your Samsung phone. So that's by far the easiest way to take a long screenshot on Android. So Hopefully your phone has a feature like that that's at least fairly similar to that. As you can see, the two phones work a bit differently. So your phone, if it's not a Pixel or a Samsung, might be different again. But hopefully it works quite similar to one of these. But some phones might not have access to this feature at all. It just doesn't have that feature built in. So if that's the case on your phone, there is another way you can go about it by using a third party app. This will require a few extra steps to get it set up. And the app does have quite a few ads and certainly isn't perfect, but it will do the job if you need to use a third party app. To do this, open up the Google Play Store and search for an app called Screen Master. And we want to install this one here, Screen Master, Screenshot Markup. It does a whole lot of things with screenshots, but one of the things it can do is take a long screenshot. And then once it's installed, you can go ahead and tap Open here to open it up. And now there is a bit of a setup process here because you have to give it several permissions to be able to access things on your phone in order to take a long screenshot. So. We can see here it wants us to allow Screen Master to access photos and videos on this device. We probably do have to allow that, so we will allow all there. And now we will need to turn Screen Capture on in order to take a screenshot. So we'll tap this switch to try and turn it on. And now it's telling us we have to grant it permission to draw over other apps. So we will say OK to that and it will take you over to your phone settings. Unfortunately, this will look a little bit different depending on your phone, but typically you'll have a list of a bunch of apps that might want the ability to draw over other apps. And you'll just need to scroll through this list until you find Screen Master here, and it's currently not allowed. And you'll just need to tap on that and then turn this switch on to allow it to draw over other apps. And then you can just tap back and back to get back to the Screen Master app. And now it's asking you to allow it to send notifications. 
and it actually needs this because it puts some buttons inside a notification. It doesn't really annoy you with any other notifications and you have to allow this. So we'll go ahead and tap allow. And now we can choose to share the screen with Screen Master and it's best if you set it to the entire screen. Again, this might look a bit different depending on your device, but there's typically options to ch share just one app, but the app in fact doesn't even support it. So we'll go share entire screen and tap share screen here. And now it's walking us through a bit of a tutorial, but to me it's gonna show you anyway, so we'll just get through that. And now the app setup is complete and you're ready to go ahead and start taking a screenshot. And again, this still isn't quite as easy as the built-in feature on both of these phones, but to get started, we'll go out of this app and pull up Google Chrome or whatever we wanted to take a screenshot of. And maybe we'll pull up just a different page so that it looks different. And because we've now installed this app, there will be this little gray icon. As you can see, you might see it better here. Everywhere you go on your phone, always on the screen. So now when you're ready to start taking your long screenshot, you need to tap on this gray icon and it will capture a screenshot, just a normal screenshot of the screen now, which isn't very helpful, but you can now tap this button down here that says stitch. So we'll tap stitch here, and now it's gonna walk you through how this works, but we can just tap okay. It's giving you a bit of a tutorial because it's the first time using it. And now it's captured a screenshot of the top of the page just normally, and it's showing us that screenshot here. And now what we'll basically need to do is just keep scrolling down to capture a bit more and a bit more. So we're basically gonna capture several screenshots all the way down the page, and then the app will stitch those screenshots together for us. So you have to do this, be careful how you do this and get it right. So as we start scrolling, we'll need to make sure there's a bit of the bottom of the first screenshot in the top of the second screenshot. So we'll only scroll to about there. If we scroll past there, there might end up being a gap in the screenshot or something. So we actually want to overlap a bit between the first and the second shot here. But once we've got it positioned about right, we will then tap the plus button here. And depending on your phone, you might need to tap share screen again to allow that again. And now, as you can see, we've got two screenshots here and we can scroll down a bit further here and tap plus again, and we will have to tap share screen and maybe we'll do it one more time, scroll to about there and tap plus again and share screen. And now we have basically these four screenshots here, but don't worry, you won't just end up with four screenshots. Once you've captured everything you want to capture, you can go ahead and tap the tick icon here. And now it's got several screenshots here like this, but as you can see, it's sort of a bit messy. It hasn't got it quite right. We see the time and the icons and everything and a bit of overlap and everything here. But what we can do now is tap auto stitch down here and it will take a second and it will pretty much perfectly stitch all of these screenshots together. So then you can just scroll through it and it looks like one perfect cohesive screenshot. So that's all you really need to do. You could do it manually if you wanted to, but the auto stitch button seems to work really well. And then once you're happy with that, you can just go ahead and tap save up here. And now it will often show you ads be very careful with these ads. They have a lot of fake crosses in them that aren't real crosses, or you might get a different ad that might even try to trick you into installing something you don't need or paying for something you don't need to. But there's this real cross in the top right-hand corner that will appear after 30 seconds or so. You wanna tap on that to just close the ad. And it's asking for a five-star app rating. You could do one if you want to, but maybe a bit later once you've used it a few times. So Timmy's going to tap cancel now 
and cancel the feedback. But now our screenshot is saved. So now if we go out of this and go into whatever app we can view our screenshots in, we should see our long screenshot. But if you're in Google Photos, you might not see it immediately. In Google Photos, you might need to tap on collections and then on this device. And then you'll probably see a separate folder named Screen Master. And you can tap on that. And you'll see your long screenshot in here. So just like we did with the built in feature, this really looks pretty good. And it's given us a long screenshot. So you can view it in here. And then if you want to, you can also turn back up on. So then screenshots from the Screen Master app will appear in Google Photos here like this. Or you can view the files, the screenshots directly inside the files app or your phone's gallery app if it has one or any other app like that. And one last thing, when you're done with using this app and you've captured your screenshot, you probably don't want this gray icon sitting around on your phone all the time when you're doing other things and not trying to capture a long screenshot. So to get rid of it, you just need to go back into the app here. And we're still in this save bit here, but we'll go back out of this and back out of this. It's saying you might lose stuff, but you've already saved the image. So you can safely tap exit here. And then just turn off screen capture up the top here. And now that icon will go away. And whenever you want to take another screenshot, long screenshot, you just come back into this app, turn this switch on and show your screen. And now this icon is back here. And then you can turn it off again once you've taken your screenshot. But that's all there is to it. That's how you can capture a long screenshot on your Android phone, either using the much easier built in feature or using a third party app that despite being more difficult, does still work pretty well. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we might see you in another one in the future.